<laughs> he did not. He did send me a text though. I appreciate that. Uh, you know, he had he had he got he got some good humor out of it. And, and, uh, so anyway. Is so it good, onward. Is it good that you guys can kind of put that behind you? And, yeah, oh yeah. It's all good fun. Yeah, we'll yeah. move on. Coach, um, NC State plays at Boston College at noon, so you may have already clinched the division by the time you kick off. Um, that, obviously, that's not going to affect how your team plays, but is that something you, you'll let your team know about with the outcome of that? I, have no, I could care less. It don't. We, we, are, we are in no shape, form, or fashion sitting around here worried about what somebody else does. We, we got, we're just trying to take care of our business. And that's if that's somebody, if somebody's worried about that, then we don't have the right mindset. And if you don't have the right mindset going into something, it's usually not good. I think so, I think it was the same situation in 2009, if I'm not mistaken, when it you was your first position. Yeah, exactly. but, um, same thing. You didn't uh, mention it to the team. What what happened during the game? Uh, we just we got to go play a great game. Yep. That's what we got to do. Play a great game. I've been pleased with the way the teams responded after an emotional win last week. You know, yeah. on the road this week. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think, like I said, I thought they grew up a lot last week. Cause yeah. we, I mean, we didn't. We played far from a perfect game. I mean, we played probably our worst game defensively. You know, and we did a lot of good things, but just we just were out of position and just, you know, um, and took advantage of some things and missed tackles. And then offensively, we missed a bunch of plays. And special teams, we kicked two out of bounds. So it's not like we played some flawless, perfect game. We had some critical penalties. You know, we had a third and four that we, they jump offside, and we got first down on it. But instead, Ray Ray jumps offside on the end instead of the ball. So now it's third and nine, and we don't make it. Then we had to punt. You know, I mean, that was a critical play in the game. We get a chop block on a touchdown call, we put the ball back on the 20, I think, 21, and we were able to score. But, man, that we just, you know, we, we, I think the biggest thing is just watching them fight through the adversity, especially in that setting. And, and again, knowing that you, you, you've left some stuff out there, but yet continuing to battle and continuing to believe. And then all of a sudden, boom, third quarter, you just kind of, we played a really, really, really good third quarter. Uh, which gave us the opportunity to win it in the fourth. So I was proud of them, and I've seen, I've seen, you know, to me that that was a good growth for this team. Especially again, all the all the guys who were first year players are playing roles that are bigger than they've ever been. Thirty six guys that to made that trip. Uh, either very first time they're a player for us this year. Guys like EDN and AJ Terrells and uh, you know, somebody else I'm forgetting. I'm sure. And then other guys that are bigger roles, like Muse, like Kayvon, like Trayvon, like Feaster, like Mylan, uh, and on and on and on. Trey Lamar. And so, you know, it's encouraging because you got to, there's just no greater teacher than experience. And, and so, you know, I think it's important that they, because they really hadn't had a lot of adversity. Right? I mean, you know, they really had this team. Um, and we didn't handle it very well up there. I did, a, I did an awful job. And uh, so it doesn't really matter what they did. Uh, uh, so I uh, just to see them respond was good. And, uh, you know, they're back in here this week, had a good week of practice. They played, you know, miss that. This is game 10. Uh, they need me to say a whole lot to them this week. We, uh, we, we, we're we in trouble. Uh, so how are they responding good? How are things on the injury front with that, especially in the secondary? Uh, good. You know, Edmund uh, is, is going to travel this week. Uh, it, it's just, and he's been able to really – really go this week and he's the most confident he's been so uh, he'll definitely travel with us and I'm very I mean, I'm much more encouraged with him it's just man I just hate it. it's been such a long process for him uh, but he's it's just good to see a little smile on his face and you know breaking a sweat you know out there um, so he'll be with us Mark Mark won't be with us um, he's still not quite there uh, you know you get through foot injuries especially yeah. DBs it's just it's just a little different deal. Um, but to everybody else, you know, I think it should be good to go. Speaking of which, how much have you been working Ray Ray at, at corner during practice? It's same as we have been. Yeah, we just, we just you know, like I said, have worked him all year. And then we just pick some spots here and there and make sure you stay sharp. They like to get acres out on the edge real quickly. How, is, is control on the edge more important than normal? In this well, game? you know, they're, they, they're a stretch team, just like NC State was. I mean, that ball's on the, it's on the edge quick. You know, it's just, this is, these are, it's not like running the inside zone. This is, ball is, I mean, they're aiming points outside the tight end, you know, and so uh, you've got to set the edge quick. Uh, and, and, then they're, and then they're looking for those cutbacks. You know, 
field. So you get, to get them running and find the cutbacks, and then they've got the play at the boots off of that. They do a good job with their boot game. You know, just as soon as you over pursue on the cutback, here comes the boot on you. Um, and uh, they do a great job of mixing that stuff up, stuff up, but absolutely. And they run the quick toss into the boundary a lot. Uh, they get in a lot of bunch sets, which they do that for a couple reasons. One, to create leverage in the run game, you know, but then they got a lot of passes off those bunch sets. Same thing, create leverage in the passing game. You know, they'll take that guy and take it to your safety, and then they'll take this guy, corners outside leverage, and they're going to throw an inside cut to it. So it's, there's a lot of challenges that come with their, with their formation. And, um, uh, but, you know, we, we see it, we, we practice it, we, we've got a good plan, and just got to go execute it. But it's critical that we set the edge on these guys because they turn the corner, and Patrick's going to probably be back this week too. He's a heck of a back. Uh, but you know, they're built on speed. And if they get on that corner and get downhill, you're in trouble. So you got to fit it right. How did, Tanner, how did Tanner do with uh, this week on his um... – with the with the screw in his hand and all. He's done great. Yeah, and he's just you know you're gonna get better every day. You know that, that'll, that'll I'll take care of that. And I think the plan is this week from kind of wear the same thing, and then next week they're gonna they're gonna cut it way down to where he's got a little more mobility. How has um, Alex responded in practice? Is it even close between him and Grooms and Costa? Uh, uh, Costa was sick today. Uh, we had a little stomach bug. We've got a couple guys getting a little stomach bug, but he was he was puking today, so he wasn't there. But um, uh, Grooms uh, has had a great week. Uh, he's had a great two weeks, you know. I mean, Grooms, Grooms came down to the last kick on Thursday, literally. In fact, we had to go into overtime uh, last week, and uh, Grooms won it in overtime uh, to, to get the last seat on the bus. Um, we're only going to take two kickers on the road trip, but they'll all be with us this week. We'll have everybody there. Uh, but, uh, you know, Alex is, is definitely uh, out front, uh, you know, that's, that part's not close, but uh, he's had a solid week. But Grooms, Grooms, I don't know if Grooms, I don't think he's missed one this week. You know, he's been really, really impressive. So I've been really proud of, of uh, Christian and, and how he's responded. Coach, um, backup quarterback situation, any change there? Is, is Zarek still the number two guy? You said that uh, Coach Streeter, it was his call to put Hunter in against Georgia Tech mm -hmm. at the end. Is, is there any change at the backup? Uh, no, it's pretty much status quo there. Uh, Street's comfortable with both of them. And, you know, it's kind of a situational thing, depending on uh, where we are in a game, what's going on, who we're playing, what's 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 going to be needed in that situation. And like I said, up at Syracuse, it was a, a pressure every play, and uh, you know, it was just he felt like Zarek had the best command of what we're doing. And then, you know, Hunter is much improved, but he's still he's still you know, grasping, uh, but. Uh, uh, Whereas in the, the I don't know, is it, is it Georgia Tech maybe? You know, not near as much pressure and a little bit more of a running situation and, and uh, you know, things, things that he was a little more comfortable with, that, that Streeter was comfortable with. So, you know, uh, listen, I trust Street. He's a heck of a coach. That's why I hire him, coach quarterbacks. Uh, and, uh, you know, I don't get in there and try to coach. I mean, I coach him all the time every day at practice, but but I, I'm not, you know, I'm not the guy that to run in there and say this is, you know, I want him to be in command of his room. That's important, you know. As a position coach, I never wanted a head coach coming in there and telling me, "Hey, you got to do this and you got to do that." You know, you respect your coaches and you hold them accountable. Uh, so I trust Street, man. He's a he's a, a great quarterback coach, and he's got a great feel for those guys, especially where they are, you know, maturity wise, mentally, and and uh, you know, uh, if something happens, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, "Street, what you got?" And he's gonna tell me, and that's what we're gonna do. Uh, and then you, if something doesn't go right in the game, you make a decision. That's why you hire these guys. Seven games at home. Saturday's one of those rare times. It's a day game and a night game. What would your message be to the fans, considering a division's on the line, it's orange pants for this game? I mean, first of all, there's only two games left in the Valley. And, you know, we sit around and moan and groan all year long waiting for football to come. And I, the season has just flown by. Uh, it's, just, it's just, you know, enjoy it, have an appreciation. Kind of been my word this year. Just have an appreciation for uh, the opportunity that not everybody gets, uh, whether that's them as fans or us as players and coaches. I mean, not everybody gets the opportunity to compete for a division championship. Uh, you know, not everybody has uh, the opportunity to play on the team or coach on the team uh, that's competing for a division championship. So it's a, it's a special moment, man. And um, 
you know, I think every time we play in the Valley, it's special, but um, I mean, this is November football. Uh, so show up and let's go. Uh, we need you, man. We need, we need that great energy. And, and uh, you know, our fan base here, they make a difference. They really do. No question about it. I mean, I've seen people jump offside three times, three plays in a row. Was that, was that little a couple years ago? Three plays in a row. You know, I mean, I'd like to say I was some great coach on that, but <laughs> you got to tip your hat to the, to the Valley. Uh, so it's, it's awesome. And they're here and rocking, and I think it's going to be kind of cool, some good football weather. And, you know, like I said, I mean, we're, we're, I think everybody felt like it was going to come down to Clemson, Florida State, and it has. So nothing has changed.